with you. Hi, all my lovely friends. Good morning. Welcome to 10 at 10. Um, so, uh, first of all, I just want to say that I'm really missing you all, I'm missing seeing your lovely smiling faces and um, all your big hugs. Um, but uh, I hope and pray that you're all keeping safe and well and I look forward to when we can all be together again. But for today, I'm just going to share a little bit of what I believe God's put on my heart. But before we do that, I'm just going to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you that we can come and sit at your feet. Lord, today I pray that you bless each one of us, Father, and ask that you use me to encourage and be a blessing to my dear friends. We pray this all in your name, Father. Amen. So, as many of you probably know, I am self-employed. So uh, when this pandemic started, my work came to quite an abrupt halt. If I'm honest, although this time has had its ups and downs, um, and I know for a lot of people it's been really tough, it actually came at quite a good time for me. Um, i had been very tired, very weary, and I needed a rest. So um, it's been, in some ways, quite a blessing. However, there have been some moments um, of worry along the way, but God has been as faithful and gracious as ever to me. Um, most of the time, I'm not a particularly anxious person, but I've definitely had my moments in the last uh, couple of months. There, I remember one particular evening um, that uh, a few weeks ago, I had gone online, I'd checked my bank account and I thought, oh, there's not a lot of money in that. Um, and uh, I knew there were bills due and I had a moment of, Lord, what am I gonna do? And for about half an hour, I remember going round in circles thinking, I don't know how to sort this. And then God reminded me of a couple of passages, a couple of verses. And uh, the first one was one that I'm sure a lot of us are very familiar with, which is Philippians 4 verses six to seven. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And the second one was Psalm 23. So this is the NIV translation. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. That was the part that really struck me. I have everything that I need in God. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And so that night I chose to trust God once more and trust his promise that he will provide for me and meet my every need, that in him I lack nothing. So I handed my situation over to him and went to bed, went to sleep knowing the peace of God, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. The next morning, I woke up and found in the post a card from a dear friend of mine who I hadn't spoken to or seen um, since quite a while before the lockdown. And inside that card was a cheque. Little did I know that in the previous week, God had been reminding her of me and placing me on her heart. And when her holiday had been cancelled due to the coronavirus, instead of saving the money or spending it, she decided that she wanted to give it to me instead to help me through these times. Our God is a great big God who knows every detail of our lives and is so worthy of our trust at all times. He showed me yet again that he knows my name and he hears my prayers. 
this is only one of uh, example of God's provision through this time, but for me, but I think if we look back during this time that many of us will will see how God has given us stories to tell of his goodness and his love in one form or another. And the further along life's journey I travel, the more I see that God is weaving together a beautiful tapestry of each of our lives and giving us each a story to tell. Now I used to think that my story wasn't much of a story but I want to encourage you all today that each of our stories are powerful and life-changing because God has breathed life into them. So I thought I'd finish today by just singing a song that we all know I'm sure very well, Psalm 23, I will trust in you alone. And a friend of mine has very kindly recorded some music for me so that I'm not singing a cappella, thank you, thankfully. <laughs> so uh, let's worship together now. Oh, 
trust in you at all times. Lord, I just ask that you will bless us each today, Father. Be with us and guide us, Father. Pray this all in your holy name.